Welcome to more Handy Leather Tips brought to you by Leather Unlimited. I'm Megan Marie and I can't wait to tell you all about selecting leather for your hobby. If you like hands-on crafts with leather, you've got to see this video. As you probably already know, there are several different types of leather. Some of the most common leathers used for crafts are vegetable tan leather, oiled leather, and chrome leather. So those are the three varieties we will focus on in this video. After that, I will give you some tips on how to select leather by weight and thickness to best fit your own crafting hobby. If you are planning a project that requires your leather to be stamped or tooled, then vegetable tan leather is an excellent choice. The color is often a natural tone, so it is also a great option for dyeing. Some popular craft ideas for vegetable tan leather include book covers, belts, leather purses, and basically anything else with designs. If you are looking for sturdier leather meant for larger projects, you should probably try oiled leather. This tanned leather is usually darker in color and it provides flexibility while still being firm. It also has a smooth wax-like appearance. If you are creating a simple leather craft project and prefer leather that is relatively inexpensive, you should select chrome leather. It is important to understand that this particular type of leather does not hold dye very well. Instead, it is usually already colored for you, with white on one side of the leather and a specific color on the other side, just like you can see here. If you want dyed leather, but you don't want to dye it yourself, then you should select chrome leather. Besides the specific type of leather, there are a few other considerations to keep in mind when selecting leather for your hobby. First, leather is usually sold by the square foot. Second, the thickness of the leather can either make or break your project, so it is imperative that you choose the correct thickness. Here is a quick guide to choosing leathers. 2-3 to three ounce leather, or 0.9 to 1.2 millimeters, is ideal for lining, wallets, garments, and other personal leather goods. 3-4 to four ounce leather, or 1.2 to 1.6 millimeters, is suitable for wallet backs, linings, and gussets. In a softer temper, it is also ideal for vests, chaps, handbags, and shoes. 4 to 5 ounce leather, or 1.6 to 2.0 millimeters, which is a medium thickness, is perfect for chaps, hats, straps, shoes, and boots. 5 to 6 ounce leather, or 2 to 2.4 millimeters, is also great for straps, lace, tool pouches, hats, and boots. Now we are getting to some heavier leathers. 6 to 7 ounces, or 2.4 to 2.8 millimeters, is an ideal weight for handbags, belts, straps, tool pouches, and sheets. 7 to 8 ounce, or 2.8 to 3.2 millimeters, is a good choice for belts, sheets, holsters, collars, straps, and saddlebags. 8 to 9 ounces, or 3.2 to 3.6 millimeters, is perfect for wider belts, sheets, holsters, and motorcycle bags. 9 to 10 ounces, or 3.6 to 4 millimeters, is a heavier leather that can be used for even wider belts, saddlery, harness items, and much more. And last but not least, 10 to 13 ounces, or 4 to 5.2 millimeters, is a very heavy leather perfect for more belts, collars, saddles, stirrups, reins, and bridles. Well, hopefully you found this video a helpful guide for selecting leather for your hobby. Don't forget to check out Leather Unlimited for some high quality leather, crafting kits, and tools. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Give us a call at 920-994-9464 or visit us online at www.leatherunltd.com. Thanks for listening and good luck!